Hello everyone, this video's topic will be about importing custom materials into the SimSolid Material Database. More specifically, we'll be getting that material from the Altair Material Data Center. So first thing we're going to want to do is go to Altair1.com and log in. Once we've logged in, we can click on Altair Marketplace and browse. And then once we're in the marketplace, we can find the Material Data Center and launch by clicking on the icon in the bottom right. And then once we're in the Material Data Center, first thing we should do is go down here to SimSolid and check it. So only SimSolid compatible materials will be shown. For our case, let's say we want to download uh, 4130 steel. So up here, we're going to click on Metal, Steel, Low Alloy. And then we can further filter uh, the materials shown by clicking on this Advanced Search option at the top. Here we have the option to put upper and lower bounds on various chemical composition and properties, but for our case, we need to just go to this designation section and put in 4130. And then once we find a material we like, we can click on details in the bottom left of that material card. Here we can look at chemical composition and properties of the material, as well as any plots attached to this material as well. And then to download, we'll go to the CAE model tab and select SimSolid from the dropdown. And notice that when we selected SimSolid, we only have one um, option on the units these material properties are going to be exported as. And uh, please note that these units don't always match the units displayed in the material data center search. So just something to take note of, we're going to go ahead and download. Then once we've downloaded, we can extract and we can take a look at the CSV just to, you know, double check anything about the material we just downloaded. And then also note that this material group column, uh, this is going to be the material group. This material will be put in to once imported into SimSolid. And if no material group in the SimSolid material database matches this name, it will automatically create a new one to put this material into. But now you can go to SimSolid, open the material database, uh, click on import.csv button, Make sure that all these units are consistent with the units that were exported from the Altair Material Data Center. Click on OK. Then select the material that we downloaded. Then you can see it made a new material group called Low Alloyed where our new material has been put. So simple as that.